introduce your players and then you can start with an opening statement. We'll open up for questions. Ace Austin, eighth grader, senior Lexi Atkinson, junior Neely Welch. You know how not nothing to state. So I mean they're good. I mean they're good. I mean that's <laughs> I give them all the credit in the world. They make play after play after play. And I'm, I am proud of my bunch. I mean, we didn't ask to be moved up to two A, and I'm sure they didn't ask to be moved down to two A. And her cross. Harris was, you know, on them all year long since the reclass come out, and we thought if we're playing Pisgah at the end of the year, something good's happening to us. And obviously, it's been a great year, 32 and three, and uh, in the end, the way we wanted to. But I'll take this same team and I'll play Pisgah again tomorrow. I'll play them tomorrow. So I, I love my bunch, and um, we'll do it again. We'll do it again. Just so many pivotal plays, and, and you and I have talked a little bit about. You know, if it came down to intangibles and that sort of thing. Absolutely. We talk about it all the time. Defense, help, rebound, you know, taking care of the ball, value in possessions. Can't have negative possessions at crunch time. And, and you know, you look down the stretch when they pulled the lead, we had a couple of negative possessions, we had a couple of defensive breakdowns, but you know, that's what happens when you play a good team also. On the shot where they they tied it in regulation, just kind of what was the, the defensive thought yeah, there? We come out of the hole, no time. I mean, excuse me, no threes, no threes, absolutely no threes. And you know, we've started three years ago on how to guard situations like that, how to bump off and help, bump off and help, bump off and help. And uh, maybe Stu got hung up, had to switch off on Molly. Molly rubbed Stu off a screen. Ace had to leave Tinker to go help on Molly because Molly was going to take it, so take her second option. And then we didn't get the help on the helper. Ace went to help on Molly, and then Tinker ended up making a big shot like she did all night long. But, uh, you know, that's the, that's the numbers game, you know, that we had to play. And uh, she made a big play in a big moment, and that was the difference. I mean, I thought, wow, you know, I felt good right there. Um, if we could just, you know, give them a miss, I thought, well, we can finish this. We're, we're good enough to finish it. But when in overtime, I was I was real worried because it seemed like it ignited them. It seemed like it gave them, in situations like that, the way you hit a three at the buzzer, it's hard to get a team that had the lead, that just lost the lead, to come back with 0-0 zero, zero mentality. So they hit the three, and it really energized them, and they knew they had a second chance because they, they thought they were beat also. And uh, they took advantage of it, and uh, that's what good teams do. But still, you know, after they made that three, you had the chance to absolutely and, and you know, block charge. I mean, you can argue all right. the time, but you had an opportunity. Oh yeah, we had on. opportunities. We did, and uh, you know, they're they're just you know, go back to some of the small things like I said earlier. Then you throw in their size, their strength. It affected us. You know, it affected us, and we try every day. To know we're, we're always the smallest team on the floor. We're never the biggest team. That's why we do the things we do to, you know, to try to neutralize people's size with our skill. And I thought that is what kept us around. I thought our skill did keep us around and some, you know, heart and gutty efforts. And, um, but yeah, we had a chance to do it over time. And it was just getting girls kind of talking about that, how tough it was to start the over. When they had gotten, as you said, a team that scores late like that, gets energized, but then they parlayed that to the first six points in overtime, and that kind of got you down for the rest of the, the, rest of the overtime. What was, what did you feel like in, at the start of the overtime when you fell down by six? Did each of the girls kind of share with me what they thought at that time? Because I know you were so confident you were going to be able to come back, but what did that do for you? Or to you? Just had in my head that we couldn't back down. We had to keep going as hard as we were the whole entire game. You can't play to, I mean, you can't stop until the buzzer goes off. So that's what was going through my mind. They wasn't going to give it to us. So we had to fight for it. We had to earn it. We couldn't give up. We knew it would be a good team from the beginning. And we prepared as much as we could. We was down six at halftime and six at, uh, in overtime. So I knew we could still come back. And... You know, I was like, we got this, come on, we just keep scoring. And we finally cut it, and then, but they just kept scoring right back on. When, when Rick, when they were talking about 
big play in front of him. Maybe if, before the girl hits the three to tie it, maybe a pivotal would have been that reverse out of bounds thing in front of your bench, maybe right, 20 right. seconds before. Yeah, I didn't even think it was a close call. I think the, he just had a bad angle, but it, it for sure was deflected. She almost kind of hold hand on the ball. So, yeah, I thought that was a big, big moment also. And, you know, one of the biggest moments of the game, I told Lex after the game, is Ace missed the free throw and makes him pull the rebound. And I, I thought, wow, if we win this game, that's the biggest rebound in her career. And uh, I thought that was a good effort on that rebound. Because she did not have position. She just she just gutted out a, a huge rebound. And, uh, uh, but, you know, the rest of it just didn't bounce our way. Neely, when you, when you drove to the basket at the end of regulation, I knew you were going to the basket hard. What do you recall about that play? I know they end up calling the charge. And I'm like, what? How they do that, but then I'm not getting you to rip on the officials. I mean, that's not what I'm doing. I want you to break down that drive and what you wanted to get done going to the basket score. I had to like I saw the ground and I knew I had to get to the basket and I really I needed to score that layup to get ahead. And I guess once I got down there, I just lost the ball and I got out of control. But I just tried to shake it off and go into the next play. That's all I could do. Good. Ricky, you talked about the reclassification. It came down to a number one versus number two game in overtime. How do you feel like you all adjusted this first year? Oh, um, I've never thought our teams that were good enough to win it in one day, I've never thought we weren't good enough to win it in two A. I thought we could compete because we play above our head all year long. We play, you know, we don't play single A schools when we're one A. So, um, you know, it, it really surprised me. Um, Nothing surprised me all year. I, I, I think I'm mean, I'm very proud because just because I believe that don't mean the players necessarily believe that. And from day one, that they've never been intimidated or, or thought, you know, this is a different, you know, environment than we've been in and too big for us. I never one year that you know, I, I felt this team being so uh, even to our shoot around this morning, they were so confident and so hungry. It's just, uh, it's almost like the same years we've had in the past where we just didn't win, but everything else has just, it's just been pretty smooth. It's been a smooth ride. Outside of Kaylee Kurt getting hurt first quarter of the season and the COVID stuff we've dealt with, which hadn't been much on our end, it has been one awesome year with this group. We've, we've won some big games and um, had great days of practice. And so all year long, Joe, it's been, been fun. It's been fun up to this moment. And I even told the girls start overtime, this is fun. You gotta love this. This is fun. And uh, and it has been just a been a great year and we're looking forward to next year. And um, we hope we're in this same position next year. We'll start right back to work and we hope we get right back in this same position next year and we'll have the right attitude and you know we, we understand. We understand this. Probably facing the same team. Well I hope so. At least things have been good. Uh, Unless you then area runner up had to travel to their place because they're across. But yeah, you're right. That's the position we'd like to be in. Girls, just to touch off of what Coach was, was talking about, uh, you know, your first year in 2A and everything. Uh, I, I know you would have loved to have played for state championship this year, but just, you know, touching off what Coach said, just talk about the, about the season. It was anybody to the taking. We thought we belonged here. Yeah, she she's caught my eye a couple of moments, but number five is so stinking good that she replaces that I probably overlook fourteen some. Uh, I've always just almost like you, you get a chance to relax with fourteen is on the you know no disrespect to her, but five is a heck of a player. She's a she's a bulldog, and uh, 
Uh, I thought maybe she battled down, looking at rebound numbers, and five scared me. Thought she was the X factor as far as the the, the rebounding margin that she might be able to put on. This way, she crashes the offensive boards, and uh, the fourteen did do a great job coming in offensively. And uh, I haven't seen that kind of offensive production out over all year. That to that, it's been hard to watch them. You haven't got to scout as much. There's not many games on the NFHS with them. It's been hard. It's been a hard film to find. And uh, so you know, we just took three or four guys and built what we could. Y'all had more loose balls. Didn't always result in turnovers, but kind of disrupted the flow of what your play was. Was that the result of? Oh, absolutely, Joe. Play? I absolutely think that their hands are extremely quick. I think they're very quick and they're always touching you. You know, we play some teams that are aggressive, but not as aggressive as that. They're very aggressive, always touching. Yeah, and I think we we probably, you know, did lose the ball and, and keep us off of our line when we would be attacking and uh, slow us down. And we had some negative plays because of that. One thing I want to ask you about is you know, you the only team I can identify things around here that played a 30 million range of season. You played off everything that you could have played, you played. How'd y'all do? Got lucky. <laughs> really, we did. We got lucky. We, it didn't happen in volleyball. We, we lost we lost some players in volleyball, and I don't know that we lost any, mac, any matches in volleyball, but we did lose a lot of players in volleyball. We're just lucky. Our, our administration does a great job of doing the social distancing and in the classroom and the kids bought in to wearing masks and we just luckily didn't have a lot of sickness on that level that, you know, eliminated it. And we lost more games, I think, because of football shuffles played off than we did with COVID. So we just got, I really, I'd say we got lucky. I looked around to see what other schools did. And um, I kept waiting every day to get a phone call. So-and-so's out, you know, what we just, just haven't had a lot of that. Those cases. And the whole school, Joe. Not just the team, the whole school. But people playing didn't pay You know what I mean? Right. Like, you know, Absolutely. Was, hey, we can't play, so then you've got to go find another game. Absolutely. Yeah, we had to move a couple, but nothing major. Yeah. Yeah. Any other questions, Kurt? Thank you, Kurt.